O'Neal is wrong about college. He made mistakes with college and he's telling people to make some bad decisions about college. Don't be like Anthony O'Neal. I'm gonna tell you why he's wrong and how you can make better decisions about college. Hi, I'm Shayna of the Well Five and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. I've been to college three times. Well, I've been to three different universities because I got a PhD. So that's how I've been to college three times. And you might say I know a little bit about college. Well, actually I know a lot about college. I know a lot more about college than Anthony O'Neill does. I don't have a degree. I don't have any education other than a year and a half of school. I don't have nothing. And we're gonna talk a little bit about his perspective on paying for college and why he is totally wrong about it. So before we get into the video, make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up if you wanna know about my perspective on paying for college and why Anthony O'Neill got it wrong. Anthony O'Neill's perspective on student loans is that they are all bad and that you should avoid them at all costs. Now, his perspective isn't really new. He takes the same perspective as all the other Dave Ramsey Solutions personalities that student loans are bad. And I completely disagree. Student loans are not inherently bad. They're not any worse than any other type of debt. Now, granted, I will say, don't go out there just looking to acquire debt. But student loans have a place like other debts like mortgages, which Dave Ramsey Solutions and Anthony O'Neill are totally okay with you taking out. But you have to look at it in the sense of this is an investment. Now, a lot of people like to look at homes as an investment because you're getting a physical asset. But people tend to have this blockage when it comes to student loans and your education actually being an asset. And the thing is that Human capital, the education that we all have and that we all acquire is an asset. It's the reason why we are one of the top nations and why the top nations invest a lot in education. So don't take the narrative that taking out debt for student loans is worse than taking out debt to buy a house. They're both investments and this is an investment in yourself. Student loans are a tool for you to use to push yourself ahead in life. Many of the jobs out there still require a bachelor's degree. So don't buy into the rhetoric that college is not necessary. It's not for everyone, but the fact is that most jobs out there still require a bachelor's degree. So in order to get ahead, especially if you do not come from a family that has saved up money for you to go to college, then this is an option for you to take advantage of getting ahead in life. So student loans are there for you if you need them. And many times there are some degree programs where you just simply cannot work while you're in school. And that tends to be the premise behind Anthony O'Neill's perspective on paying for college. He thinks that if you're going to go to college, you either need to get scholarships and grants, which I totally agree with, I did it myself, but he thinks that you should be working your way through college. But it's not realistic for some degree fields. For people who are going to medical school, you cannot work while you are going through medical school. It's an all-in type of program, and there are tons of other programs like that where they actually tell you that you cannot work because you need to be focused on this education that you're paying for. And so it's not an option to pay as you go. Now, the other option that Anthony O'Neill tends to say is that you need to save up for college on your own. Now, with that perspective, you introduce opportunity costs. If you take years of saving up the money to go to college, and the typical cost of an education is probably around $100,000. If you take years to save up the money to go to college, in order to save up $100,000, especially out of high school, by going the normal route and you're not you know, striking it big or anything like that, it's gonna take you several years. So you're gonna miss out on several years of potential because you're delaying your education for making money to pay for it. Whereas you can start 
school and then get ahead to start taking your education or start working so that way you're able to make money sooner and basically the student loans allow you to take advantage of the opportunity cost it gets rid of it because you're able to start making money a lot sooner especially if you go about it in a very wise way and know that you should not take out more student loans and you can realistically pay off in the end now if you need some help with figuring out when to take out student loans and how to take out student loans wisely you'll want to check out this video right here because i talk about how to take out student loans wisely so that you're getting a good return on investment for the amount of student loans that you'll take out compared to your potential earning potential so check out that video here anthony o'neill also thinks that student loan forgiveness and student loan deferments are bad ideas the student loan forgiveness program is a bunch of nonsense and that's another point where i disagree with him on his assumption is that if you are taking advantage of student loan forgiveness programs that means that you are trying to take taxpayer money to cover up bad decisions that you made with taking out student loans for college if you signed that student loan paper i'm so sorry that you made a bad decision so the assumption is that one, you made a bad decision by taking out student loans. And I've already covered this, taking out student loans are not bad decisions. They can actually be a really good tool to help you to get ahead with your career and allow you to earn more money and allow you to build wealth quicker. The other assumption is that you are using taxpayer money to pay off your student loans. Now, that can be true because there are student loan forgiveness programs that are backed by the federal government, but that's not always the case. The way I think about it is if you are mad about student loan forgiveness based off of the premise that it is using taxpayer dollars, I wonder if you are also mad about grants as well. And I also wonder if you are one of those people who use grants to pay for your education. You look up grants. Because at the end of the day, grants from the federal government also use taxpayer money. So in my opinion, if Anthony O'Neill is going to advise people to take advantage of grants as a way to pay for college, why don't you keep the same energy when it comes to student loan forgiveness? It's all taxpayer funded money. I don't see what the big deal is. Most taxpayers who don't like student loan forgiveness also assume that people are trying to get a free ride from college. And that's just not the case. Many times with student loan forgiveness programs, you actually have to provide a service or you have to meet certain criteria by doing certain things in order to be able to get the forgiveness of your student loan. It's not a free ride. Most of the time, the government is looking for people to work in certain areas, like medical doctors to work in rural areas, or they're looking for people to work in the public service, like people who work for the government, or help people that are disadvantaged in nonprofits, for example. And they're looking for people to commit their work and forgo making more money in order to get these services accomplished for the greater good of the public. And as a result, they will then forgive your loans. So it's not a free ride. It is a payment for a service that you provide. So I'm not really sure why Anthony O'Neill is so against student loan forgiveness and it just seems like he's thinking of it as a free ride and it's simply not the case. There are several ways that you can get student loan forgiveness. And I'm showing on the screen the various ways that you can get student loan forgiveness. And it's definitely an option that you should take a look into if you are eligible for one of these programs. One of the most popular student loan forgiveness programs is the public service loan forgiveness program called PSLF. And a lot of people hate this program, especially Anthony O'Neill. He actually did a recent video where he told people that they should not be looking for public service loan forgiveness, as if it's something wrong to be a public servant and then be able to get your loans, the remaining balance on your loans forgiven for providing public service to the nation. <laughs> I just don't get it, but that's his viewpoint. 
Parsons' rationale for advising people to not take part of the public service loan forgiveness program was based off of some news headlines that came out that said that only about 1% of people who applied for public service loan forgiven actually got their loans forgiven. It might startle you to find out that 99% of the people who applied for public service loan forgiveness did not have their loans forgiven. But there was a huge misconception around that headline. Most of the people who applied for the public service loan forgiven did not actually meet the eligibility criteria. So duh, they would not be able to have their loans forgiveness. The government is not giving out free money. If you are someone who has the perspective that this is taxpayer money and it should not be spent, you should take pride in the fact that the government is being careful about who they are giving loan forgiveness to. They're actually making sure that people actually meet the criteria for public service loan forgiveness. And many of the people who applied did not meet the criteria for a number of reasons. But what you should know is that the people who were eligible did get their loans forgiven. So the program is solid. Nine times out of 10 people defer their student loans. And today I'm gonna talk to you about why I think that is the dumbest, dumbest idea. idea. Want to plan it out. Student loan deferment is also another great program that you can take advantage of and be able to get out of debt faster. While you're on student loan deferment, the government is paying for the interest on your student loans if you have subsidized student loans. And what that does is mean that you get to get ahead of the interest that's accruing on your loans and you end up paying a lot less on your debt. And that way you're able to get to wealth a lot quicker because you're not spending a lot of your money on interest as you would have if you were not in student loan deferment. So I highly suggest you if you are eligible for student loan deferment that you take advantage of these programs. Do not listen to Anthony O'Neill because at the end of the day he's not paying your bills. I can bet you that Anthony O'Neill is also against the student loan cancellation programs that some of the presidential candidates for the 2020 election have proposed. So some of their proposals range from canceling all student loan debt to canceling about $50,000 of student loan debt. And I'm all for canceling some student loan debt. And I would think that as Anthony O'Neill being a person who is all about eliminating debt, you would think that he would also be for student loan cancellation. But just like the other student loan programs that exist, like the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program and Student Loan Deferment, I'm pretty sure he's also against student loan cancellation. And it leaves me wondering, where do you actually stand when it comes to getting people out of debt? Where do you actually stand? Why are you mad at all the programs that are out there? Now, if you're thinking about taking out student loans and you want to learn a little bit more about how to make an educated decision about the student loans that you take out, check out this video right here and learn a smart way of dealing with paying for college rather than listening to the Anthony O'Neill way. Thank you for watching and I hope that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can learn more about how to eliminate debt and build your wealth.